I thought I should say a few words about the special location today, the 75th anniversary of Indian independence. Yesterday, I was listening, thanks to the YouTube, to the speech made by Pandit Nehru on the day of independence, the twist with destiny. And there was one passage which I thought I should quote here. The achievement we celebrate today is but a step, an opening of opportunity to the greater triumphs and achievements that await us. Are we brave enough and wise enough to grasp this opportunity and accept the challenge of the future? The way forward was shown by no one, no other than Pandit Nehru. What you grasp, you are reaping today. India today is becoming a world power and it is still on the rise and by the mid-century when we are no longer there, you could see a powerful India playing a dominant role in the global stage. There is something more that we in Sri Lanka must mention, which a lot of people don't know. Panditji gave us full cooperation for Sri Lanka to enter the United Nations to become a member. I remember and I was told how his representative to the UN Minister V.K. Krishnan, Krishna, v. Krishna Menon, gave all the support to my father who had to go around in New York arranging for Sri Lanka's entry into the United Nations. My father knew him well I only saw him at a distance as a student watching him, his car pass by on the way to India House. And my advice to rising politicians from Sri Lanka, those who aspire for higher office, is get to know your English Indian colleagues. Get to know them well and get to deal with them. Because if you do not do that, it will be difficult for you to look at issues uh, and understand what each other says. We, are, we have common viewpoints in many. We are but a small country in the middle of the ocean, while India, while looking after its own interests, must also look at its role as a global power. But it is essential that we speak to them. After all, India is our closest neighbor. And there are many issues which are common to us, of which we are understanding, of which we have to resolve, not only issues that pertain to Indo-Lanka relations, but to the region and to the world. So in this area, it is possible for us, and it has been on many occasions for us to come to an agreement or have a similar viewpoint with India. It's with those that we consolidate. But being two states, two governments, there are also times when we have differences which should not become disputes. Because what is our relationship? Our relationship is not merely one of between two countries. We've gone beyond that. So I think if that was available to India, history of India would have been different. So we have all these commonalities and we have to build on it. I've always said that we are two sides of a single coin. It is not possible to split a coin for one face to fall one way and the other face to fall the other way. Whatever it is, history has put us together. And we have to uh, stay together. What is this relationship? I really haven't got a uh, uh, word for it. The closest I could come was a symbiotic relationship between the two countries. So when we are both have, uh, uh, now marking our 75th anniversary, I would say let, uh, let us commit ourselves to further strengthening our relationship. And thank you for inviting me.